What's up guys and welcome back to the John Q channel. In this video, I'm running over my new uh, rifle that was sent to me by Davidson Defense. This is called the Journeyman. And I've been shooting it out here for the last couple hours and I want to say, man, this, this might be one of the best budget rifles out there. And when I say budget, I mean, this normally costs $900 in that ballpark area. It's currently on sale right now on their website for about 540 bucks. It's currently sold out and there's a wait list. And to be quite honest, guys, it's not a budget rifle. And just so you guys know, they sent me this stock, the, you know, the optic, the magazine, the angled foregrip, that's mine. These are mine as well, the rail covers, but everything else is stock. So let's go and run through this really quick. Let's start with the stock. The stock is an adaptive tactical AR-15 EX performance adjustable stock. The sling loops are molded into the stock so rusting won't occur. There are also QD mounts with an oversized high strength adjustable pin. The non-slip vented rubber butt pad provides extra grip and helps reduce recoil. I'm a big fan of this rubber pad for many reasons, just because it does stick, you know, a little bit better than normal uh, stocks would on my clothing. So for that, I like it. And whenever I go to present from low ready, I can drive it into my shoulder and it's not gonna hurt. If I'm at a high ready, same thing. Low ready, just drive it into that shoulder and it's not gonna hurt because of the vented butt pad. And then we have the Davidson Defense AR-15 custom engraved stripped lower receiver. Forged from 7075 T6 aircraft aluminum. It exhibits high strength, toughness, and good resistance to fatigue and stress. Finish is a type three hard coat anodized, which provides an exceptionally hard and durable coating that helps in providing unbeatable corrosion and abrasion protection. The rail here is an M-Lock system. It's Davidson Defense's Black Diamond Series Executive 15 inch M Lock Slant Pro handguard. The handguard is crafted from 6061 T6 aluminum, which is strong and durable. The matte black anodized finish makes this handguard resistant to corrosion and increases the handguard's overall strength. And the upper receiver is made from 6061 T6 aluminum, which makes it incredibly strong and corrosion resistant. The anodized finish increases the strength of the aluminum, making it less susceptible to wear and tear. It has a sleek standard mil spec design with a 1913 Picatinny rail. This upper receiver has a standard ejection door and no forward assist. The classic upper receiver will do its job and do it well. Honestly, that's one of the reasons why I love this rifle. It has no forward assist. Like there should be, there is no reason to have forward assist on AR rifles anymore, okay? it To me, if you got a malfunction, just clear it, get back in the game, right? Reload, but overall this upper, I love it for that, I really do. It's lightweight, durable, made from great aluminum. I mean, just, just amazing. And then we have this little guy right here, the flash hider. Flash hiders, for those of you who don't know, are central in position concealment and keeping your vision clear, especially in low light situations. It has a one half by 28 thread pitch and a manganese phosphate finish to protect it from corrosion. The A2 flash hider is a classic because it simply does a great job. And up next, we have the Bolt Carrier Group. Up here, solid, strong, durable. The 5.56 NATO slab slide complete bolt carrier group has a simple classic design. It is machined for 9310 steel, which means this bolt carrier group is tough and durable. The nitride finish helps make it resistant to corrosion and increases its strength. It has been MPI and HPT tested to ensure its quality. All these characteristics make this a high quality durable bolt carrier group. So there you guys go, just a quick rundown of the new Journeyman by Davidson Defense. So what do you guys think? Is it a budget gun? Are you gonna get it? Do you think it's worth it? Let me know down in the comments below and let me know what else you wanna see on this rifle. As always guys, thanks for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you in the next Johnny Q video. Peace.